live session, I'd like us to talk about action versus control. And if you've just joined me, I'm requesting you to subscribe and even share and like this YouTube channel. What I do here is to work with parents to discover the emotional, mental and spiritual tools within them and use those tools to connect and relate with their children in a way that frees the child to grow and evolve into the most independent, the most reliable, the most confident person on earth. So connection versus control. Your role as a parent is critical, is very significant because it's believed how you are relating with your child sets a foundation that is going to come in handy as they become adults and begin relating with others. And more so when it comes to intimate relationships like husband and wife, well, the foundation a parent lays in terms of how he or she relates with their child will come to will come to influence how the adult relates with their peers. So as a parent, you got to be aware of your role. And for me, the many roles a parent is the most important one is to train the child to relate with others very well, is to acknowledge and support the child in growing the emotional intelligence. Because every other thing that a child will require in future to succeed, it is going to be traded or exchanged in relationships. So if your child grows up knowing how to interact with others, then they're going to benefit because they're going to be supported. As they go to school, they'll definitely make proper friends who acknowledge them and respect their space and they're going to be supported. But if you have a child who was not raised well in terms of relating with others, then that child is going to suffer, is going to have issues because they're likely to get into the wrong company or they're likely to retreat into themselves, shutting social connections, which we know is going to cost them. So as a parent, when it comes to your child, especially when a child does something wrong, do you want to connect with them or you want to control them? So control is like this. You've met your child and she or he has done something that is wrong. Or you've gotten a report from the school that your child has been caught into trouble. Control is about jumping, jumping into conclusion and asserting authority and immediately declaring a punishment. That is control. Because you've condemned the child before you have had an opportunity to listen to their side of the story. Remember, even teachers are human beings. So they're not gods that you assume they are right in accusing your child. I was reading a story the other day and there's a child, a form one or form three, I'm not very sure, who committed suicide because she was accused of stealing 2,500 Kenyan shillings. Now she tried to explain herself to the teacher. The teacher did not believe her. Their fellow students did, also, did, did not also believe her. So she felt left, she felt ostracized, and no one wanted to listen to her story. Everyone wanted to control her, everyone wanted to pass judgment on her, and that's how she ended her life. Of course, there are many other reasons why she could have um, resort, re, re, resorted to, to such um, an action, but we know that that issue could have contributed a lot to to what happened so you see so that is controlling when you jump into conclusion when a child does something and you quickly assume they are doing this because they are rude 
they are rebellious they are stubborn and you even you know you even assert you even make mention of such words to them that is controlling connection will be trying to understand why the story behind the action because in the story you'll find out whether the child was emotionally distressed whether the child was mistreated whether the child was was incapable of making the right decision so connection is about finding out why the story behind the action and when you operate like that as a parent you're going to help your child learn also how to manage life and relate with others so three things i strongly suggest as a parent you begin doing or you continue doing one remember your child is a human being so they're not perfect they're going to make mistakes and through mistakes they learn and they get better so do not assume your child should be this perfect girl or perfect boy that is an, a mind a mind game which will not take you anywhere number two your child is a work in progress your child is supposed to grow supposed to become different and better from day one to day two and like that so create a space for the child to grow and you do that by connecting with them by being present emotionally mentally and spiritually and number three uh, remember your child is unique so you're very different from her from him give them space to be as unique as possible that way you will help them grow to become independent and to be of help to themselves and even to others so that's what i believe if you take your parenting like that you're going to be one of the best parents in the world i don't know what you think but i'd like to hear your views on the same and thank you.